अनि फैक्टराइजेशन का जी पाठ निवर्त जाना है रख अनि नंसो की टॉपिक दिन में जाना है थरी जाना है रीग्रुपिंग टर्म्स रे सो आवर टुडेस टॉपिक इज रीग्रुपिंग टर्म्स सो लेट्स टेक एन एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन लाइक टू एक्स वाई प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस थ्री नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू रीग्रुपिंग द टर्म्स ऑफ दिस एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन so class now what we will do we will copy it as it is solution 2xy plus 3x and then plus 2y plus 3 then our next step is we are going to find out the common we are going to find out the common number with number or a variable between these two terms and we are going to find out the common between these two terms okay class now see we are regrouping the terms over here manso ki regrouping chair khari terms la ra so 2xy plus 3x here the common is variable x is common so here variable x is common we are taking it as a outside so we left with the 2y inside 2y multiply with the x the product is 2xy and then when x multiply with the number 3 your product is 3x okay class plus 2y plus 3 now 2y plus 3 here you don't have any common right because here it's number 2 it's number 3 here it's variable y here we don't have a variable so the common between these two thing is a number 1 so number 1 common you nikal so you can take a number 1 and then 2y as it is plus 3 as it is okay so 2y plus 3 2y plus 3 these two are common so you can write it only once so x plus 1 and 2y plus 3 is two times so you can write it only once so this is your answer and this is how you are going to regrouping the terms okay class go to say and the chair man so ra okay ta man so kone example now we are going to do one more example and after one more example i'll give you some exercise questions or give you some homework questions to solve you by your own self okay now let's take one more example Okay class suppose if i take an example like x square plus xy plus 8x plus 8y Okay class now again we are going to do regrouping of this algebraic expression Okay now <clears throat> So x square as it is plus x y plus eight x plus eight y. Okay, class. Now we are going to find out the common variable or number between these two terms. Okay, here you have x square plus x y. Now here the common is variable x. So we left with the x, and inside we left with the y. x multiply with the x it will become x square and when x multiply with the y you will get as x y okay class here you have a variable x y here you have a number 8 and 8 so number 8 is common you can take it only once and left with the x plus y okay class now x plus y and x plus y are the common so you can write it only once so x plus y and x plus 8 are the regrouping terms of this expression go to say this is how you are going to solve the uh, you are going to factorize the algebraic expression with the help of a regrouping terms 
okay class now our next topic or next method is using identities so we are going to factorize the expression with the help of a using identities and i already taught you four identities uh, on the previous lecture or on the previous chapter that is um, algebraic expression and identities so here again we are going to discuss these four identities so your first identity is the formula of first identity is a plus b all square so you can write it as a a square plus 2ab plus b square okay class your second formula is a minus b whole square you can write it as a a square minus 2ab and then plus b square your third formula is a plus b and a minus b so you can write it as a a square minus b square okay class these and the last one you have the fourth formula you have x plus a and then x plus b is equals to x square plus okay x square plus x a plus b plus a b okay class these are your four identities formula and on the basis of this formula you are going to factorize the expression what to say so one by one we will discuss it Okay, class. So your first question is: You are going to factorize x square plus eight x plus sixteen. Okay, class. <clears throat> so this is your question, and you are going to solve this by using identities. So using this is x square plus eight x plus sixteen. So this is in the form of Our first identity using identity that is a plus b whole square, which means a square plus two ab plus b square. <clears throat> Here, a is equals to x. and b so in place of b square you have a 16 right so in place of b square you have a 16 you are going to find out for the b so b as it is 16 the paranja ch when square will shift from left to the right it will become a square root of 16 and in the in the chapter square and square root we learn the square root of 16 so directly the square root of 16 is 4 so the value of b is 4 got to say okay class now it now we are going to substitute this value on this side so in place of a square plus 2ab plus b square you will substitute all these values so it will become x square plus 2 times of your a is x and your b b is 4 and then the value of b is 2 oh no, uh, sorry 4 square the dide okay so you can express this in the form of what you can say that 
it is in the form of x plus 4 whole squares. Well, x plus 4 and then whole squares, which means it is your like first identity. Here, the answer is x plus 4 and x plus 4. Because you say, the answer is called factorized cherry by using identity. Now again we will use one more identity and after that you will do some exercise question from your textbook for the revision or practice. Okay class, now we will take one more example. If I take an example like 4x square minus 8x plus 4. Now, this is in the form of uh, um, like second identity. So, by using a minus b whole square, that is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So, here A, A is equals to 2x. Yeah. Because here you have a 4x square. So, and your B is equals to 2. Because in place of B square, okay, see here, data law. In place of A square, you have 4 x square now you're going to find out the value of a so you have 4 x square so square root will cancel with the number 4 and then it will become 2 so a is equals to 2 x square uh, yeah Okay, 2x. Yeah, 2x. So the value is 2x over here. So square root will cancel with the... Okay. So the value of a is 2x over here. And similarly... Similarly, in place of b... In place of b square you have 4 so you're going to find out for the b so square root of 4 is 2 what you say? so the value of b is 2 okay class now you're going to substitute these two values in this formula so a square minus 2 a b plus b square so in place of a you can write 2x square minus 2 as it is in place of a you will write 2x and in place of b you will write 2 and then in place of b square you will write 2 square so your identity formula is you can write 2x and then minus 2 whole square or you can expand it like 2x minus 2 and 2x minus 2. Okay class, this is how we are going to factorize by using identities. Right. Then they any identity which